Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Today we discussed 11 must-haves for men during winter season. Winter is one of the best times of the year for clothes. Not just because it's black tie season, but also because you can layer. That means sweaters, boots, vests, overcoats, top coats, gloves, scarves. All those things come out of the closet and you can add them up and because it's cold, you can have a lot more in your outfit than during summer or spring. The first item that every man should invest in is a pair of insulated boots. No, I don't mean duck boots or similar kind of ugly boots to wear. I mean elegant men's dress boots, but some that are lined ideally with sheepskin so you look dapper but your feet stay warm. Surprisingly, most boots in England and even in Italy are just leather lined and not sheepskin lined, so you'll have to do a little digging to find exactly what you need. Personally, I have two pairs. One's from Morlands, which is a vintage English boot. It is kind of a caramel brown color. And then one in black, which looks more like a Balmoral boot with a cap toe in black from Shoe Passion. The second thing you need is a warm jacket that is a little more casual than a traditional overcoat. By that I mean a jacket that is slightly shorter and just reaches past a jacket if you wear it or past your bum. You want the fabric to be as heavy as it can be and quite warm. Sometimes they also come with a liner. Classic options include a pea coat, which is what I'm wearing here right now, and to learn more about this garment, the different options you have, and anything else you want to know about it, please check out this in-depth video guide here. Alternatively, if you want a hood but still stay classic, consider a duffel coat. And we just made a video about it here. If you live in an area that's not quite as cold, a quilted jacket may be ideal for you, especially if it contains wool because they are warmer than the just polyester filled ones. Personally, I have one with a houndstooth pattern and it's quite dapper and also worn. At the same time, it's lightweight and it's perfect for not so super cold days. The third item you should invest in is some form of headwear. The classic choice would be to go with a flat cap, maybe a fedora hat. You lose a lot of heat through your head and I personally always feel much more warmer and cozy with something on my head. To learn more about the different options, please check out our flat cap guide, our fedora guide or our other hat guides. The fourth item worth your money is a pair of colorful lined gloves. Lined because it's cold outside and that extra layer of cashmere or wool will keep your hands warmer than let's say an unlined glove. Of course, if you're in a climate where it's not so cold, an unlined glove is the way to go. While most men today wear black and brown gloves, a pair of colorful gloves not only works with the majority of the things in your wardrobe, but it also makes you stand out from the crowd in an elegant way. At Fort Beverly, we have all kinds of men's dress gloves in unusual colors, such as the gray ones I'm wearing here right now, or the chamois yellow ones. Both of them are treated in a certain way, so the leather is super buttery soft like a marshmallow. At the same time, it's really water repellent and resistant, which is quite nice. Or if you want, we also have nice burgundy gloves, including a pair of touchscreen gloves. They work on a touchscreen, just like your fingers, so it's really nice not having to pull off your gloves if you want to use your phone when it's cold outside. If you want to learn more about gloves before you commit to buying, please check out our in-depth glove guides here. The fifth item you should invest in is an elegant, somewhat textured or interesting overcoat. Most men today wear a black overcoat, maybe a solid charcoal one or maybe a solid navy. And while that's okay, you can actually get away with different overcoats that have more texture and different colors because that way they work with more of your outfits. Personally, I'd go with one for business, which usually should consist of somewhat gray, blue and black tones. And ideally you combine them all in one so you have one coat that works with everything. Alternatively, my favorites, especially for brown overcoats, are tweed coats in bold patterns, maybe a Donegal tweed with different flecks of color, because that way you can pretty much wear anything in your wardrobe while staying warm and stylish. The sixth item Dapper Gents should invest in is a dinner jacket. As you know, the winter Christmas season is black tie season, and because of that, you can wear your tuxedos. But over time, that may get a little boring, and if you wanna be a little more festive, you can add color, you can add velvet dinner jackets. And to learn more about the details, 
please check out our in-depth dinner jacket guide here. The seventh item every man should have, in my opinion, is a sweater vest. It's a mix between a vest because it has no sleeves and a sweater because it's knitted. So it's very flexible, it's warm, you can wear it with a pea coat, you can wear it with a suit, you can wear it with a sport coat, and it just always works and keeps you warm. If you wear neckwear such as a tie or a bow tie, I suggest you go with a v-neck because that way you can see it better. The eighth item you want to invest in are distinct winter ties. That means maybe a cashmere tie, a wool tie, and that could be a printed wool chalet tie, such as the ones you can get from Fort Belvedere. We also have them as bow ties. Or maybe if you want a little more texture, you could go with a wool grenadine. Alternatively, a matter silk is perfect for the season because it has these muted earthy tones that are perfect for the fall winter season. One of my personal favorites for fall and for winter are silk knit ties because they have a crunchy texture, they keep you warm, they're different, they're a little more casual than traditional ties, but they just add the different element that make your outfit interesting and unique. The ninth thing I want you to consider is a robe, aka dressing gown, or maybe something shorter, such as a TV jacket. When it's cold outside, it's likely also colder in the inside of your house, unless you like a high heating bill. Therefore, adding additional layers and adding a dressing gown is perfect for your home because you can comfortably lounge on your couch while watching TV or reading a book, all the while feeling very warm. No, a dressing gown is not the same as a bathrobe. It's meant to be worn on top of clothes, which means the cut is a little roomier and it's just a wonderful addition that's elegant and comfortable and casual at the same time. To learn more about dressing gowns, please check out our in-depth guide on the website here. The 10th item you should invest in is a heavy knit sweater. Ideally, you skip cotton because it's not as insulating, but wool, alpaca, or cashmere are what you want. If you're not sure what kind of sweater to invest in, I urge you to check out our in-depth video sweater guide here. Last but not least, for 11, I urge you to wear gold accessories. Gold is much warmer than silver, and it works with the brown tones you wear in your wardrobe, as well with the general season. So maybe you wear cufflinks, a collar bar, or maybe a monk strap shoe. Ideally, try to go with gold items because it just creates a warmer, more wintry look. As you can see here in my outfit, I'm wearing a pea coat with gold buttons, which make it warm. The pea coat is actually a military issue and it's made of 100% wool. It's quite rugged and warm and it's also quite inexpensive. You can find them at surplus stores and for under 100 bucks, you get a really warm classic coat and it's just a really, really good workhorse that you can wear day in and day out. I'm combining it with a 100% cashmere scarf from Fort Belvedere that's super soft and keeps me warm. You can find it in our shop here, and if you wanna learn how to tie your scarf, please check out this video. I'm combining it with gray hydropackery gloves that are water repellent and super soft. Alternatively, I could have also gone with the chamois yellow ones. My pants are quite thick olive green corduroys, which keep me warm and are perfect for winter. My boots, on the other hand, are caramel colored, and they're the old moorland boots with a sheepskin lining that keep my feet warm. As always, I go with over-the-calf socks, in this case from Fort Belvedere. They are brown and green, so they work with the shoes as well as with the pants. To learn more about how to combine shoes with socks, please check this in-depth guide here. Underneath, I'm wearing a heavy gauge knit sweater, which is a tennis sweater with elements of orange red, and I combine it with a matter silk tie, which is vintage in a subtle pattern with some diamonds in green and red tones, which are typical for matter silk ties. For a selection of other matter silk ties, please check out our shop here. 